Hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Ah, chew! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. Dinosaurus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur! Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Plesiosaurus. Das Plesiosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find a another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha! <laughs> these teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. Yo, welcome to my forest here in the late Jurassic period over 150 million years ago. That's a super duper long time ago. My name is Dryosaurus. High five. It's pretty easy to say my name. Dryosaurus. It means oak lizard. This is a cheek tooth. Sort of shaped like an oak leaf, don't you think? I come from Tanzania. That's the problem with meat eaters like him. They're always trying to get to know me better. Personally, I like knowing trees and plants. You know, with a little sprig or two of fern, that's just yummy. I might be little, but I'm fast. How little? I'm three meters long. Okay, you probably noticed that I'm always running, but that's how I protect myself. Some dinosaurs have horns or really sharp teeth and claws, but I run really fast. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I make really sharp turns, like this. Woo! That's gonna leave a mark. Awesome turn you did there, dude. High tail. 
On the down low. Hey. Oops, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> now that's fast food. Very, very quiet. I'm on the hunt. Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big, but I'll have you know I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs. And he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and well, invisible really, but sometimes, <laughs> We're also very, very jumpy. Hey! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. Hi, I'm Massospondylus. You say it like this, Massospondylus. I'm trying to think of what I can do for the Dino Talent Show. It helps to have hands that let me grab things or I'd never be able to do this. <laughs> my name means massive vertebra. Those are the bones in my neck. Here, take a look. Now that's a lot of neck. I live in what is now called South Africa. I'm about the same size as an elephant, but I weigh a lot less because my bones are hollow and I have air sacs that make me lighter. That's how I can be so light on my feet. I know! I could tap dance in for the talent show. Hmm. Maybe not dancing. Oh, I know. I love to sing. Listen. La 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 la. Well, what do you think of my singing? I guess I need to practice more. I wish there was something else I could do for the Dino Talent Show. Something I was good at. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. See you at the talent show. Ah! Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. 
Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. Trudon, my friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome. You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Well, hello there! I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places. But that's why I have this really long neck. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool peg-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mmm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... Surprise! Oh, hi. I'm Corythosaurus. That's Cor, Rytho, Saurus. Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard. It's because of this thing on my head. My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. Wow, what a sound! That's awesome! How come I can't make a big sound? Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. What am I doing wrong? There's my herd. I wonder if they want
want to play with me. Hey guys, what do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you? Oh joy! I wonder if they heard it. Oops, sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quieter. Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length. That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America, here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear.